If you're considering the idea of buying a Maltese puppy, don't go for it until you have learned some important things that you need to know about Maltese. Here are 12 things you need to know about the Maltese before you get one of your own. Number 12. You have to have vet information. You cannot bring home a Maltese without first getting information from the vet the dog has been to. It doesn't matter if you're looking at a puppy or a grown adult. You need this information. While this is a generally healthy breed, you need to know that it does not have any genetic issues from parentage, and you need to know it's not already sick when you get it. Number 11 Maltese are not very tolerant toward low temperatures. Much like the Chihuahua and other small breeds coming from warm climates, Maltese dogs hate the cold, especially when the weather is cold as well. A Maltese can easily get the chills, develop a cold, or even more. The solution is warm and cute puppy clothes, of course. Well, technically the best solution is to not get a Maltese if you live in a cold climate. However, if it's chilly and damp outside, having a puppy coat, sweater, or another cover with you is definitely a must. Number 10. They don't like being alone. The one thing that you should always keep in mind after buying a Maltese is that they don't really like being left alone. This, of course, doesn't mean that you won't be able to leave it alone for a short while, but longer periods of time are a no-no. If you leave them alone for too long, they might develop anxiety issues, and you'll later have to deal with those. The good thing is, if you need to go somewhere without it, they'll be happy to be left with a friend or another family member. Number 9. Are Maltese dogs suitable for first-time owners? A Maltese is a good choice for first-time owners because of their friendliness and sociability. A true lap dog, the love to show affection, and are quick learners when it comes to training. They are gentle dogs that are suited to most sizes of living environments. The Maltese has fairly low exercise needs, so they aren't as big of a commitment when it comes to exercise. You won't have to spend hours walking them, so they should fit in with most modern lifestyles. Number 8. Maltese is a commitment. The Maltese can live a long time, more than a decade on average. This means that you have to be prepared to have a dog that is going to live with you for a very long time. This is, hands down, the most important thing you need to know about this breed. When you get it, you have to care for it for the rest of its life. And you should also know that this is a breed that should stay inside and supervised as often as possible since it is small and it could be attacked by larger animals. Number 7. Smaller pups have bigger health issues. The concept of a teacup Maltese gets people all the time. They stay small and adorable, but they're a bundle of health issues, and they are not good dogs to have. They tend to end up very sick and very unhealthy because they are not properly bred and cared for. Just stay away. Number 6. Nothing scares this breed. These are very fearless dogs. This is something you will have to watch out for. If you take this dog outside, even if you think 10 minutes in your fenced-in yard without supervision is a good idea. It's fearless, so it has no problem walking right up to a skunk. This could be a gross problem for you, or a coyote, or a stranger, or a large dog, or a snake, or anything of that nature. It needs to be watched because it is such a brave little dog. Number 5. Teacup Maltese Puppies Aren't Real you will hear this term, and you should run from it. The concept is that these are smaller than average Maltese puppies that will stay under 4 pounds. Sounds cute and small, right? Well, it's not a good idea. You don't want one under 4 pounds because you're getting into a whole new realm of issues when you go this route. They are illegally bred and created, and it's dangerous and not a good idea. Number 4. Grooming is important. Maltese dogs have a long, beautiful coat. It's part of the reason people love this dog so much. But you do have to watch out for the grooming part. This is not a dog you can ignore. It needs a good brushing each and every day and frequent trips to the groomer for trims. It will mat and not easily. So grooming is very important with this breed at home. Number four, they do like exercise. It's considered a dog with medium energy, according to the American Kennel Club. However, this is a breed that does love to exercise, and it does love to be outside. You should try to take the dog for a walk every day at least once, and let it run around the yard, 
for a bit to let it burn off some energy and get some exercise in throughout the day. Number three Maltese are lap dogs. Typically around seven pounds, the Maltese is certainly a lap dog. If you are looking for a small dog that loves to sit in your lap and be very close to you, this is the breed for you. It's not one that will want to do much away from you, and it's going to want you home more often than not. This is not to say that you can't leave the house and go to work or have fun, but it's a dog that you will need to keep occupied and entertained when you are gone, so that it doesn't become bored and potentially destructive. Number 2. Personality This is a very sweet, very loving dog. This is the kind of information you need to know because you have to know what to expect from the dog. It's got plenty of energy, and it's very affectionate. It loves to spend time with people, and it loves to be the center of attention. It's not a yappy dog, and it's not a loud dog, but it is a very friendly dog. Number 1. They're good with kids. These are very sweet dogs with a very gentle nature. They love kids, but they can be a little bit excited at first. Give them a few minutes to see what's up, to get used to the kids, and then they will calm down a bit more. But, as always recommended, never leave any dog unattended with children. It's just the safest way to have kids and dogs together for both. How to prepare for getting a Maltese Prepping for a Maltese is relatively easy. All you need is to pick the right pup from the right breeder and to be familiar with the possible health issues you should be on the lookout for. Aside from that, the first couple of weeks of house training are crucial, so you do well to read up on that as well. From there, the rest is just a matter of stocking up on dog toys and treats, some worn doggy sweaters and coats, a leash, a food bowl, and a dog bed. And that's it. You're now ready to get a Maltese pup and have a decade and a half of fun and love.